Hi there folks, it's Terry Danich Kimak II, the Digital Painter, and I'm back to talk a little bit about texture. Alright, so we're in Art Rage today, and I had one of my Patreon members uh, send me an image, and we're going to go ahead and open up that image. Although, it's over here now. Why are you over here? Let's open up Recents instead. There we go. All right, so this was the image that was sent. And just a note, if you want to help support The Digital Painter, all you got to do is stop by patreon.com slash The Digital Painter. Would love your support, but regardless, here's a video. So what we'll see here is this object right here that I've moved. If we zoom in, if we zoom in, boy, get off of that. There we go. If we zoom in, you'll see here, uh, let's not have a huge brush. You'll see that this rock and this rock are essentially the same, except this bottom rock uh, has texture and this top rock doesn't. So of course, the first thing that I thought, because uh, he couldn't figure out why this top object, which both of these were imported into uh, this file, uh, why the top rock did not have any texture. So of course, the first, first thing I'm gonna do is open up our layers palette and I wanna kinda see what he's got going here. And you'll notice down here he's got a paper. We can turn the paper on and off. It doesn't do any any major effects here. Uh, and so I'm going to turn off the backgrounds initially and turn off the paper. Oh, and that is when it clued me in. So I'm going to turn the paper back on. He's got a layer that is doing essentially what the canvas setting for Art Rage does. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that paper. And what needs to happen is you need to come up into the view settings. And up there we have a canvas settings. And if we look here, we'll notice our opacity of our canvas is currently at 0%. That means there is no canvas. So if we were to bring this up, suddenly we have a canvas. Now, right now, the canvas roughness is 0%. We bring that up, and now we have a rough canvas. Now, not as prominent here, so I'm going to bring up the grain size a little bit, and a little more, and even a little more. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna zoom in just a little bit here, and you'll see there is a texture. It's not the same texture as the other rock over here. Ooh, don't want to do that, do we? There we go. It's not the same texture as this rock. So what I did is I went in and I went to look at the paper from the collection. And I know in the paper section, we've got coarse paper and some other ones. We're going to start with coarse paper. There we go. Now we start to see, and some of this can be adjusted a little more to match. You can take your roughness down, etc. So if we took our roughness back down to zero, you can bring the roughness up. So essentially what was happening is his opacity of his canvas was at zero. So if you find that your image, and we can turn on these other layers now because it's doing a really lovely painting, which I love. Uh, woo, there we go. Once you turn on or bring the opacity up, those textures will then affect things that you import into your image. All right, well, I hope this little tip is helpful for you, and if you've ever run into it, it's a good way of uh, figuring out what's wrong. My name is Terry Danich Kimiak II. I'm the Digital Painter, and this has just been a quick tip. Mm -hmm.